You're on mute, Tom. Uh, appreciate you joining and uh, obviously a huge win for our club. Uh, much, much needed win. Guys got um, lit up pretty good after the game yesterday. So it was kind of nice to uh, see them respond today and uh, come out. Obviously, offensively, the story was Brock Wilkin, the two big home runs. But uh, but even the inning, we scored the two runs later. You know, I felt like we grinded some at-bats. Um, it did a better job. Still struck out 15 times today, which is way too many. But um, but I thought up and down the lineup, our, our at-bats were better, um, you know, on the mound, you know, Will probably pitched a little better than his stat line. Uh, you know, obviously the air in the first inning um, and, and followed by the 0-2 walk um, in the first inning, you know, led to the four runs. Um, but, you know, I thought he gave us a scoreless sixth, a fifth and sixth scoreless, um, which was big um, to get a little more length. You know, we were hoping to go right to Manasi and, and because he threw that kind of scoreless six that enabled us to, to kind of get two out of Cam and, and one out of Adler. Obviously, Cam was great tonight, and Adler made some really clutch pitches. Obviously, the 3-2 slider to the leadoff guy in the ninth was a huge pitch. Um, you know, I thought he struck the guy out to end the game, didn't get the call, walked the next guy, and but battled and, um, and got a big strikeout against their best hitter. So um, just a, you know, obviously a good all-around team win. Tom, you can say the guys got lit up yesterday after the game. When you say the guys got lit up yesterday after the game, was that by you, by Billy, uh, by other team, guys on the team? Connor, can't hear you. Hold on. Let me see if I can. I heard you, Connor, by the way. So let's be on Tom's end. Oh, yeah, I got you now. We're good. Sorry, Connor. Go ahead. Uh, when you say the guys got lit up pretty good yesterday after the game, was that by, by you, by you, and – Billy or John, like what, or what was it by, by the captains? Like what went into that? It was, it was mostly me. Um, you know, again, I mean, Billy and, and John might've done it as well, but, um, but I, you know, I, I laid into him pretty good and challenged him. Uh, you know, we've got to, we've got to have tougher at bats. Uh, we certainly pitched well enough to win last night and, and as we did last Saturday and, and, you know, three other times this year, and we've just got to grind more at bats. And again, today, you know, we did that. Tarconi's at bat in the first inning was a perfect example. You know, he battles off, fouls off a couple of tough pitches, singles, and then sets it up for the Brock Wilkin homer to put us up to nothing. I mean, that was a big momentum swing. If Tarconi goes down, you know, in the first and puts all the momentum in their dugout, you know, changes everything. Tom, you talked about how that first inning for Florida State kind of came to fruition with, with the error and then the walk in the guy after getting an 0-2 count. But then Will seemed to kind of work himself out of that and strike out two guys with the bases loaded. How do you come back from having the deflation that happens after that grand slam home run at that moment? Because it would have been pretty easy to kind of feel sorry for yourselves at that point. Well, no, and that was tough last year, right? I mean, I was proud of our guys because they kept coming. Um, you know, I think, um, you know, when you're going bad and something like that happens, it's kind of natural to be like, here we go again. But the guys, you know, we came out and obviously Brock hit a granite slam to put us back up two innings later. And, um, you know, so, you know, just one of those things that didn't, um, it didn't stay 4-2 for long, but give Will credit. I mean, he came out, he got the next guy out and then he went up through a scoreless inning in the second and in the third um, to give us a chance to, uh, to hang on to the lead there for a little while. Um, I, I know Brock's homers were are the headliner, but the over the shoulder catch in the ninth, I mean, look. Yeah, I can't can't say enough good things about that play. I mean, that's a that's a clutch play. That's a that's a man on second base with uh with one out as opposed to two outs and nobody on. I mean, that's the that's the difference in the ball game. That and the three two slider that that Adler executed on the first hitter. I mean, that's the ball game right there. And you know that's what that's what clutch players do. They make uh, they make clutch plays. And Adler threw a clutch pitch, and Brock made a clutch catch. And then uh, the camera seemed to zoom in on it pretty good. Was it dried blood that was on Eric's pant leg there that the re that the umps were looking at? Yeah, that's exactly what that was, and and uh, it was fine. They were they were kind of walked away from there pretty quickly. I thought for a second they were going to make him change his pants, but uh, but no, no cigar. <laughs> Did he have a blister or something that burst? I mean, uh, he seemed to throw okay, so I'm I'm assuming he's fine. Yeah, I, quite honestly, I think that's old. I don't I don't even think that was from today. But um, you know, it's one of those things where 
you know, you got to ask Tony Joyce what the situation is. <laughs> have to get Tony on the Zoom call for that one. <laughs> Uh, you talked about most of the guys, several of the guys, like swinging batter and having better at bats. Uh, how would you uh, put Bobby Seymour in, as far as that goes? It seemed like he hit a couple pretty hard, just kind of in the wrong spot. Yeah, he lined out to left. I thought it was a good swing. Obviously, he got kind of robbed there of a home run, um, or you know, kind of, you know, might have been a home run. So you know, you know, again. You know, you have two out of four quality at bats. I mean, we can we can live with that. Um, you know, for him, he put a, a good swing on two balls, and those will those will start to fall. I, I went up to him after the after that, and I was like, "Hey, man, just gotta laugh about it, right? We just gotta, you know, laugh about it and know that we'll get that one back somewhere. You'll hit one off the thumbs, and it'll fall. Um, so that's that's kind of how this game works. Once it starts rolling, it starts rolling pretty good. I guess the last thing I have is. You talked about uh, needing to have that game where you you pound out 16 hits and really get it rolling. I think you got 10 today. It's not quite 16. So is this enough to say that, that the bats are back yet or not? No, I mean, you've got to do it a couple of games in a row to say that. I mean, I, you know, again, I, I it's closer. You know, I liked Lucas's at-bats better today. I liked Pierce's at-bats better today. I liked Adam Ciceri. Michael Ludwig's at-bats were better today. Um, you know, so still Shane Munts and Bobby, we need to, and Chris Lanzilli's at bats were better today. So again, I think, you know, we're, we're closer, um, but we've got to, we've got to put it together a couple games in a row before, before I'm ready to say that, um, that Rake Forrest is back. We're not there yet. <laughs> Anything else, guys? Thanks, Tom. Add that Tom, you seem like you're in a better mood and better place than you were last night. Yeah, last night was a long night. That was, um, yeah, that was, uh, I put all my shoelaces in the hall. <laughs> Thanks. What's up, guys? What's up, Rock? How's it going? It's going good. How are you guys? Doing well. Uh, let's start off. Um, what does it feel like running into left field and seeing Adam Ciceri running at you? And how do you... Uh, bring in that catch. That seemed like a pretty big play. Uh, yeah, I, I kind of just saw off the bat and I was like, I got to go make this play. I knew he was playing a little deeper. Um, and that guy, that guy had some juice. I knew he was playing deep. Um, so I really just knew in my mind, I just had to go make a play. Um, and it was one of those balls where you don't communicate. Um, you just go after it. And if he's got a play on it, he's going to go low and I'm going to go high. And I just happened to get there before he did and just made the play. Brock, um, Coach Walter said that he challenged you guys after the game last night and really lit India pretty good. Did you, did you feel like that? And did you kind of take that as a little personal? Yeah, um, for sure. Um, even even when the coaches talk, um, even if it's not directed towards me, um, I, I feel like it's my job as um, a, a team leader to to go out there and to try to do what the coaches ask of us each and every day, um, whatever it may be. Um, so I definitely did take it personal, not in a bad way. Um, just knew that I had to go out there and compete a little harder. So I guess two homers in your first two at-bats today kind of you need to take things personal all the time and like the coaches need to yell at the entire team and, and get you fired up all the time like that needs to happen every game now. Yeah, I guess so. I guess so. It was just it, it, it was fun. It was fun. That was one of the most fun times I've had playing baseball for sure. I mean, I just got I just got two good pitches to hit and put two good swings on them. So it was, it was a good day for the Deeks. What was the what was your best moment of the day? The, Either one of the home runs or the over the shoulder catch in the ninth. Um, uh, I don't know. I think all of it coming together as a team and we winning that game. I mean, our bats coming together, our pitching staff just going out there and absolutely shoving our defense. I mean, I feel like the win was way more important than any personal success. Personally, um, I feel like we needed that win big time, especially with all of our. Everything just coming together, meshing. It was it was a great day. It was a great day. How important for the team was this win, Brock? Um, I think it was was a momentum swing for sure. Um, I really think that you know 
we've been struggling as of late and everyone thought, oh, it's just going to come together. Oh, it's coming together. But I think it really took the coaches to lit into us last night for us to get everything going and get everything moving in the right direction. Um, I think that kind of woke everybody up and had a reality check for everybody and was like, I mean, the coaches were spot on everything they said. And I mean, I think that was, that was huge for us today. What's the feeling on the field and then in the dugout? You hit a two-run homer, give the Deeks a two-run lead in the first inning, and then you guys kind of dig yourselves a little bit of a hole in the bottom of the first, right? And it looks like Will's going to pitch mm-hmm. his way out of it. He strikes out the two guys. It looks like you're going to get out of the inning unscathed, and all of a sudden Florida State knocks out a grand slam home run. How do you all kind of regroup and rebound from that? Um, I mean, it was just it was just one pitch. Um, it's it really wasn't that big of a deal. I mean, we're down two runs, and everyone everyone knows that with our lineup, um, that we we we're gonna score two runs. Um, and especially after that first inning, um, even though they kind of got the momentum swinging back their way, I feel like we still had very good positive energy in the dugout um, coming after the bottom of the first. And I, I honestly, I walked in the dugout and I thought everyone was gonna be down and. But it was the exact opposite, and that that really changed the game. Was the bottom of the first and having that positive energy in the dugout, even though we were down. Rock, do you have do you have family coming to these games in Florida State? Yes, sir, I do. Um, all my family. I got a couple really close family friends that are coming too. Uh, so it was just really special for for today to happen for me and us to get to win and them to be there for it all. So it was really special. Were they able to get to Miami too, or is this the first time they're seeing you this year? Yes, sir. My, my uh, immediate family was there at the Miami game. Um, and there was a bunch of people coming, so we didn't really have enough uh, room for tickets. So I couldn't give any more than four out. Um, so it was, it was really special that some other people, really close people that I, I called my family to come today. Um, that was that was really special for me. Thanks, Brock. Thanks, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Brock.